Okay, so last time we uh, uh, kind of showed how the uh, Tsai Wu criterion works and uh, showed the final equation of that that shows that failure occurs when this uh, polynomial is equal to 1. We also noted that um, the Hoffman criterion, when we use the, uh, the form as shown, is the same as the Tsai Wu criterion in that if we uh, uh, use this with a ductile material, it can reduce to the uh, von Mises yield criterion. But as we said, it wasn't really all that useful uh, that we can plug in the stresses and find out if we're going to fail or not, but that doesn't tell us what the factor of safety is. So we want to do that. Here's the parameters, uh, again, the F1, F2, etc. They involve the tensile strength in the fiber direction XT, the compression strength in the fiber direction XC, uh, tensile and compression strengths in the transverse direction, YT and YC, and the in-plane shear strength, capital S. So here's how we're going to find the factor of safety. For a given loading, we're going to calculate the stress state, sigma 1, sigma 2, and tau 1, 2, for a state of plane stress. And now we're going to uh, assume that our definition of the factor of safety is that if we uh, increase the loading until the failure occurs, then the stresses at failure would be the factor of safety times each one of those stresses at the at the load that we're given. Now, as I said, this, this is our definition because it doesn't always apply that uh, as we increase the loading, the stresses will increase uh, linearly. But that's the assumption that we're making here, all linear behavior. And so again, if we increase the load by a factor of two, we're going to increase all of the stresses by a factor of two as well. So with that in mind, let's plug those stresses into the Tsai Wu polynomial. So wherever we have uh, stress, for example, sigma 1 will now become the factor of safety times sigma 1. And so we have the linear terms and the uh, second order terms as well. And we can group those, as shown here, all of the ones times the factor of safety squared times the uh, linear terms times the factor of safety equals 1. So, of course, what this is, is a quadratic equation for the factor of safety. And we know that uh, a, a quadratic equation can be written in this form, a times the, the variable squared plus b times the variable plus the constant c is equal to zero. So we can take uh, the equation up top and write it in that form. a within will be the... Um, terms multiplied by the factor of safety squared, b will be these terms, and the constant c, we bring 1 back over to the other side of the equal sign, then is equal to negative 1. And we know that the uh, solution to that quadratic equation uh, is as the familiar form that's shown here. So again, c was equal to negative 1, so we can arrange this, rearrange this just a little bit minus 4ac becomes plus 4a. I'll move the negative b over to the other side. And of course, for a quadratic equation, there are two possible solutions, but we're only interested in the larger root. That's the one that's going to tell us what the factor of safety is. By the way, if, if, we, if you are interested in the negative root, that would be the factor of safety if all of the loadings were reversed. But again, we're not really interested in that. So taking just the larger of the roots, there's our equation for the factor of safety. So again, knowing the stresses for a given stress state, we can uh, plug in and calculate a factor of safety. And uh, that's what we're going to do in the next video. We've got a few examples uh, of loadings where we're going to calculate a factor of safety with the Tsai Wu criterion.